Hey, welcome back everybody. Signing here again with episode 34 of my Enigmatic 2 Expert Mode playthrough. And I seem to have a stuck sea serpent. Uh, so, I went, oh god, like 5,000 blocks away. I finally found one of these guys. Got him in a soul, or yeah, soul vial. Named him so he wouldn't despawn no matter what. And released him in this kind of lake over here. And he repaid me by getting his ass stuck in a tree. So, bravo, buddy. Bravo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you're just going to have to stay there, I think, for now. Because you tend to do really nasty things to me when I put you in the water. But I'm guessing he went after something on the shoreline. And, uh, yeah, I'll be that deer. And got himself wedged in here pretty good. Yeah. Who's the big dummy? You are. Yeah, he's, uh, he's actually really passive right now. I mean, he's, he's not happy. He's hissing at me, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, you're 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 stuck. Uh, that's funny. All right, so <laughs> I was over here actually clearing out some terrain and whatnot, and decided that these serpent would make a good pet to have over in this area. So uh, I don't seem to have any shears though. That's oh well, that's a thing. I'm going to put my Thumbcraft area over here, by the way. This is going to be like my, uh, it's really like a Thumbcraft tower here. I wanted the shears, though, so I could get these poison ivy plants, because they just, they're destroyed if you break them with anything but shears. And the flax is the same way, actually. Flax, you can actually uh, make it into uh, terrariums. So, uh, I don't have any torches on me, do I? But, get here. Well, there's an, you know, overland route, obviously. And you just fly there. Or you can go through this wonderful tunnel here, and it actually pops out right next to the, uh, my power building. Funny thing is, streams from stream, uh, they don't behave normally. I was originally going to put a water wheel here. <laughs> Have the stream and try to divert the stream and yeah so i took out some blocks next to it and it's just doing its thing so yeah as you do and something else i did off camera was i have an advanced power cell over here now and i've got a sprite oh hey you're dead. Go away. Uh, yeah. So, these two RTGs are feeding into the main power network and this RTG. Or this, uh, power cell. Finally use the power cells. And that, right now, is powering a digital miner. It is grabbing every... Uh, let's see. Reset, config... I just have it set to or dictionary filter for ores. So. And it turns out, in a 32 block radius around this thing, down to bedrock, there are 14,000 ores left, and it's been going for a little while. So. It's not particularly fast, but I've got this thing tuned with upgrades and whatnot. It needs 1,500 arpitic, and my RTGs are actually generating 1,800. So. I don't have to kick on the diesel generator to power this thing, because. Right now, the diesel gens are severe overkill. If I turn them on, I end up wasting so much power. And in turn, wasting a whole bunch of fuel. But, let's see, I still haven't put my uh, my levitators in yet. Probably my have side of this last episode. But I figured out how to uh, work these, uh, the laser cells from Cyclic. 
Use these GPS markers, click the block you want, and then pop them into different machines from Cyclic. In this case, you can actually have it shoot out lasers. So you can turn the transparency way up or down. But basically, they're just tiny beacon beams. And not sure what I was going for, but I kind of like it. So downside, you can only put four, uh, four GPS markers in a laser cell. So hmm, it works. And then over here, I lifted up my attunement altar. And right now we're uh, actually perfect. Uh, this is Octans. I did want to get a couple of rituals going. And actually, let's go ahead and switch that back on. Put those way. I wanted to get Octans up and running, and I wanted to get a, a Boots ritual up and running. Eventually. But if you're, I'd go ahead and get these things attuned now while, I, you know, while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Oh, crap, I forgot. I took my wings off. I'm back to the ring of the squid. Just walk off the edge and hit double tap. It's like, I'm falling. So I have a Lucerna and two Horologiums as well. Actually, the Lucerna one needs to stay up here. And the reason for that is... The observatory from Cy or from a yeah, cyclic astral sorcery requires you can see the the picture of it behind here, but it requires that you Lucerna attuned crystal in order to craft. So let's check on this. This thing did finally end up working. It as soon as out. Basically, these vines here, as soon as they grew to that block, then it's like, oh, okay, we're good. Freaking, I have no idea. And splitting crystals. I've got three left now. Uh, three unattuned ones left. But yeah, I get my Horologium, Octans, Horologium, and Boots. Uh, Octans is the fishing crystal, actually. Pop that up and hey, we got some sand. And then here, pop those in there. Uh, Octans is fishing, boots is uh, basically animal farming. It, uh, it says it makes animals in its radius docile and they start to ooze resources, which sounds a little disturbing, but I get free animal drops without actually having to set up a killer. I can live with it. Ooh, interval. Don't really need them, but it's kind of nice to know you can get those. And then... Good. Toss that up in there, too. I've also got a lot of meat. And you can get this stuff in a centrifuge by the uh, flesh blocks from Biomes of Plenty and then the ones in the nether, right? Run them through and the 10% chance of main four. And 5% of rabbit and raw turkey. So, yeah, kind of cool. Works out. That was the only way I could think of, actually, though, besides, like, ground traps, to get turkey. Go ahead and drop off my food over here now. And... That, that. And I've got, like, 12 raw turkeys. And I've got a bunch of stuff that I made that I haven't eaten yet, so 135 hearts. I'm kind of happy with where I'm at. And then over here, we've got our wonderful small storage crate with the fishing net still. And then I've actually also gotten myself a water trap from Pam's. And this is actually netting me quite a bit of uh, new types of food, like oysters and clams. I haven't eaten those yet. Char, tilapia, green heartfish. Raw snail. I have a cooked one here, but I've not eaten a raw one. See, raw shrimp. That's actually kind of handy. That's the reason I set that up. Uh, puffer fish. I haven't eaten that yet, but that's gonna hurt. 
I even got crabs. That's a horrible sentence to say. But that water trap's actually working. It's slower than the fishing net, but it will get you, you know, foodstuffs, whatnot, that you can't get uh, normally. And I get my cow in a jar, who's apparently, you know, drowning. But, but one thing that I've been working on off camera is the uh, the foundry. And that's what this is here. I'm going to put an elevator here eventually, but mm, come on down. This is going to be my foundry. Kind of liking how it's turned out so far. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, uh, using some block types from Cathedral in here. Like, i uh, got these here, the Dwarven Scale Pillars. Uh, these things are not cheap, though. Takes an alchemical brass ingot and eight basalt to make 16 of these things. And then you can chisel them to different things, like the Order Pillars. we got the Scale Pillars here. Uh, sunken Basalt, that's a, a Cathedral block. And then we also have uh, Dwarven Gaslit Vents, which there's there's sort of different variations, but they're basically just light blocks, right? Gaslit, burning, and path lighting. And that takes four of these embedded plates, which is the same recipe, glass and glowstone to make two. So these are, I mean, it's there's a lot of alchemical brass in here. But, oh, and then I got... The uh, metamorphic uh, stone uh, bricks from uh, Batania in here. Just because I kind of like how it looks. That, and it, it needed some color, honestly. This is a very monotone room, otherwise. This is all grays. Grays and blacks. So, I'll come into here, and this is where I'm going to have my empowerer set up at. In this room here. This one here is going to be for, like, draconic infusion crafting and all that stuff. And I'm using these... Uh, Inset floor edge lights from Engineers Decor. And they come from the inset lamps or lights, which are just you know, glass panes, pretty much any plates, and glowstone. That makes eight of them. And they're very, they're bright, but they're not very obtrusive. They don't stick out a whole lot. I need to do something. I got a slight ceiling, and I've got, you know, the sunken basalt here. Just that line helps. You know, can differentiate a bit, but I need something going on. But as this is getting fusion crafting and empower, then over here, I'm gonna sign up. This is where my auto breakers are gonna go. Um, like the the living wood, living uh, living rock. Um, probably the astral star metal because it's the same thing, and a couple other things. But automated machines feed a block in, get a different block out. And world crafting, so on and so forth, right? This is going to be for ore processing, and I want to get, if I can, a uh, 5x, or up to 5x eventually, uh, ore processing setup in here. Then here, I don't know yet, but it seems like a good spot to put another room. This is going to be an induction cell, and this is going to be expensive as hell. This is going to be a 5x5x5 five by five by five cube. And this is going to be my my power storage. That's it. Done. I mean, that's... Yeah. I'm coming in here. This is going to be my uh, multi-block crafter from Reborn Storage. Uh, control panel of some flavor here. But this multi-block crafter is going to fill this and then go down a bit. And then, I don't know. But I'm going to have some hallways coming up here. I haven't done this room yet, but uh, I'll get around to it. My main holdup right now, actually, is basalt, of all things. It is... I have burned through so much of it doing this. Because, well, slate... Uh, let's see, we can just look at the recipe here. Is three basalt and one limestone each. I could make, like, basalt or slate seeds, right? Which, those are a tier two seed. So it just needs prudentium. Which I could actually make, you know, those without a problem right now. I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea. But if I can, I would like to uh like to avoid doing that for the most part. Uh, the Mystic Agriculture seeds. No, stop. 
There, thank you. I mean, they're a little... I don't know about cheaty or not, but yeah. They're kind of cheaty. They lack a certain elegance. Let's put it that way. Do I have anything in here? No, okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at our quest book. And we'll find out that I've done... One quest. Modular storage from RF Tools. Storing up to 300 stacks of unique items. Non stackable items count as one stack. Go ahead and claim that. And that is right here. And this is for all my Tinker Swords or the different Tinker weapons that the uh, the zombies drop. Just because I was getting tired of having to scroll through all that mess when I was going through this. I mean, I might get another one of these set up for like enchanted books or whatnot. But. Made a request, and it's like, eh, well, you know, it does have a bit of a use. Hey, razor wire. How much of that do I have now? Uh, four stacks? Let's make that five. But there's that quest done. Uh, mad receivers, how bad are you? Uh, teleports from IC2, teleportation cores, skystone, and ender pearls. That's an advanced machine casing, advanced circuits, cable. Frequency transmitter, which is just a wire and a circuit. Yeah. Handy, but honestly, there's there's so many ways to teleport around. These aren't going to be a thing until actually I need a dimension, so. But I don't know what I would need a dimension for, honestly. Let's look at our gates. So I got the, the side gate done. I've got four gates, well, plus bragging rights, but... The five gates left. Doing pretty decent there. It's only Terra Steel. And you can see my uh, my drawers are gone. I've got five left. Dirt, sand, smooth stone, marble, and obsidian. And honestly, they're going to be going away soon too. Uh just right now I'm sitting at 192,000 items. I think I can afford just just store everything in my system here but so that quarry's moved a second time now the digital miner oh industrial new has razor wire too huh huh looks to be a little bit cheaper too doesn't require steel I how it looks though all right distracted uh i've got like 5600 coal ore so i should probably look at getting some ore processing done honestly and i'm I'm thinking purification, or a uh, mechanism, it's just like ore tripling for now, so that's what, purification chamber? Um, yep. There we go, purification chamber. That needs an enrichment chamber. Which, I should be able to just do that. Thank you, I'm out of machine casings now, or the steel chassis, or do you want to call it? Hmm, okay. No circuits. And it's not going to grab that the name of the chamber now, is it? Alright, but boom. Purification chamber. Is that a quest? I don't know. Uh, mechanism. Does not appear to be a quest. Hmm. Oh well, it's a bit of a waste opportunity there, isn't it? But this guy. We go through, it'll turn an ore into clumps. But it needs oxygen. Or flint. So, but then the clumps, you can go through, run through a crusher, you can get dirty dust, run that through an enrichment chamber to get just the pulverized versions, and then that, you, of course, just, you know, smelt it up. Ring and gravel. Holy crap, cat. Popped up a gravel block? Yeah, that must have hurt. But let's see, uh, Crusher, right? That was going to be our next thing. Need two buckets of lava. Need a steel casing. What am I missing for steel casings now? Uh, I need two blocks of osmium. Need a couple more, just, just because. And I need two steel mechanical components. So... Some steel... 
get some copper, and we're going to use up to this IC2 copper just to keep my system clean. Do that. That was a weird little glitch there. You plus all that equals eight of those. And let's just make a couple sets of these because I have a feeling we're going to need it. So. Also, let's see if I can type. So, Crusher. And that's the Rock Crusher from Nuclear Craft. Okay. So, I just need two buckets of lava now. Do I have buckets? I mean, I got one on me, but do I have any more? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I've got lava sitting right there. Hmm. Pretty damn handy. There we go. There's our crusher. Keep that on me. And then it needs another enrichment chamber. So, this guy here. Enrichment chamber. And, oh yeah, it's because my chassis is right here. I'm like, or my casings, sorry. And then probably a furnace or something, right? Let's just stick with the mechanism one for now. Um... Energized Smelter. Awesome. So that is for three x or processing. And... Uh, let's see, can I make some Ender Chests? Uh, say... Oh, no, that's Ender Gas Conduit. That's not quite what I want this. I need two of those. Give me, like, say, one of these. And then can I have a uh, filter of some flavor? Uh, maybe advanced big item filter. Yeah, I gotta make a advanced filter first. I had a paper? Wow. Amazing. Alright, that's the wrong one. Want that... That soul item filter, that's kind of handy. Okay, I'm not sure. And then there's the big one. Hmm. Right. Getting distracted. Alright. And, uh, what do we got for die? Let's just grab a couple of red here, right? I need to change the color code on these. Thank you much. And let's, uh... Get down here, we're gonna break that for now. Let's do that, actually. I just cut this off from my storage system, but don't really care. I will, uh, I'll get it patched up here in a second. That there. Now, exporter. You get that. And uh, let's say just look at ore, right? Open this up, and I can go through, and I can, I can drag that in, right? And... And, right, are you going to work or what? Oh yeah, there it goes. It's just not very fast. But, honestly, it doesn't have to be right now. But then I can just go through and see, like, coal. Um, if I run that just through, like, the enrichment chamber itself, I get two. The mechanical squeezer I get is six plus a chance of an extra. So, coal we'll do separately. Uh, lapis, probably the same. Diamond... Emerald, another course, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, rock crystal ore, huh, cute. Uh, let's see, we got all the, the biomass plenty ores. And then I want like thermal ores, whatnot, too, right? Here we go. 
here's the nuclear craft ones. So I'm going to uh, populate this list here. And uh, I'll come back once we're ready to get the machines themselves set up. That was sorry, right? Okay. All right, so got the poor processing machine set up for now. And got this thing hooked up, got everything set up into it. And yeah, no, it's it's filling up rather rapidly with uh, different ores. I've got a lot of ores to process, honestly. But it's going to go purification chamber and output. Let's go ahead and set actually that up and auto eject. Now, crusher is going to be input on the left, output to the right, auto eject. We're going to do the same here input, output, auto. And then this one's going to be slightly different. It's going to be input on the left, output to the top, auto eject. And, and that should do that, right? But I need to get oxygen now, right? So IC2, here we go. Oxygen from mechanism comes from an electrolytic separator. Water becomes hydrogen and oxygen. Now what are some uses for hydrogen? Uh, hydrogen chloride, if I give it chlorine, which comes from brine. So need sodium chloride, okay. Or, yeah, okay. Basically brine. Hydrogen chloride is one of those things that I need later on, so... That'll, that'll actually come in handy. The electrolytic separator. This thing. And these are finicky little machines here. They, yeah, yeah. What do I need here? I need two osmium and an iron. Okay. Uh, let's see. Osmium. Iron. In here. They are, they have very strong sidings on their, uh, their functions. You know, it's, good lord cat. Uh, I'll show you once I make the machine, I think. Electrolytic core. Comes a separator. And that was a quest. So. They have... Input in the front, right, which is this tank here. And then separates into these two items, or not items, liquids. One goes to the left, one goes to the right, and you cannot, cannot reshape how this thing works. Good lord. Just puking everywhere, aren't you? So that is a little bit of a downside, right? Let's see what the cat gave us here. Uh, two more puffer fish. That's not bad. And a feather. Hm. I'll live with it. I'm going to need some more conduits. I'm going to need probably get some pressurized ones. Um, energy. Let's just go ahead and go with these ones. Now, I don't think I'm going to go over 5,000, you know, but you never know. 14 should be more than enough. And then I have to get power down there somewhere. So I'm almost thinking... Well, power cell wouldn't be a horrible thing. But... But yeah. <laughs> it's a but yeah thing. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, got three posts. Go ahead and... Pick up another batch of those. Got a lot of tree wood fencing. This is what I've been using for my post. And let's see, high voltage, right? Relays are good. Wires, I'm probably gonna need some more of those. And I need connectors. Right, like so. And I'm thinking about it, let's just do that. Hmm, five more. Cool. It's going to take a long time to get all the silky wisps I need, honestly. But 
it. See, that's one thing is immersive engineering doesn't have a good way of sending power like straight down. Here we show up here. You know, actually pretty damn close to center. There we go. And let's just go ahead and prove why you don't eat puffer fish. Nausea is always fun, isn't it? Whew. Yeah, let's not run in the hole. But I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to put a post. I have it on my game hopper already. Uh, save right here, right? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's go. <clears throat> let's put it up here a three blocks over here I'm gonna have some sort of thing there I'm not sure what yet three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve should be good enough for now that's not gonna quite line up is it oh well three four five I think that's five right Make that one six, and we'll make this one five. Well, that's cool. Missed twice in a row. You know, it's just easier just to time the flipping things. Oop, here's like. No, no, you can stack them like that. And let's get the wire run. And then we're going to come over to this one. Any more conduit? The hell, man. So, more of these, please. 22 might be enough, and capacitors. I've got an LV. Just make like a more of these things for now. And we're going to turn them to medium voltage. Turn those to high voltage. I um, need a couple blocks of lead each. One, two. Simple enough. Your hairs, balls everywhere. And. like down we go moments all right you're gonna be inputting on the top and i should get my hammer out for this right let's get like some of this stuff put away go ahead and open this up and send that back don't need the treated wood fences or the posts actually is that i had enough i got illumination powder for free out of that you can see all the ores coming through here too. But still not enough. Alright, well, only one thing for that then, isn't there? And let's see. I need glowstone and redstone now. 
Redstone, glowstone. Throw the gold ingots on the ground, because, you know, as you do. There we go. Oh yeah, I had more stone. Oh, I should probably show how I've been making that while we're waiting. So there's a, a flower in Batania, because of course there is. But it'll uh, transmute raw stone into metamorphic stone, given some mana. It's the uh, Meramorphosis, right? And it actually doesn't take a lot of mana, which is kind of cool. So what I've got going on here is I got a block placer you put smooth stone into. Got a scanner looking for block state, you know, current block stone. If it, it sees stone in front of it, it outputs a redstone signal and basically stops the uh, small block breaker from Engineer's Decor from working. Which, this thing works slow without power. If you give it power, it works faster. And then the vacuum chest picks up said stone whenever it's broken. This is one of those auto breaker things I'm going to have in that room. So, it's a very basic, simple thing. Uh, the Meromorphosis just takes a couple of runes to make. But you get... I think there's like eight different types of biome stone. And they're different colors depending on the biome. Uh, this light can go away. Right. And you're done. Awesome. So we're going to... No, not that. Here we go. Make these. Make more conduiting. And, yep, actually that should be fine. HP capacitor, top is input, bottom can be output. The whole shift you can affect the bottom side of the block. And then, HP connector, right? Are you seriously complaining about the post? Oh, that's just... You know what? Alright, fine. Have it your way. The wire collision is a little weird sometimes. Alright. Now, where is that capacitor at? I can't see for crap. Yeah, it's way too dark down here. But we're going to have that stuff come into here. So, what I think I'm going to do now... Oh yeah, these are arcane stone bricks for the, the rooms. Energize smelters all at the end. Yeah, let's just go ahead and... Ah, it was a little too far, wasn't it? Do that. Really should get some sort of lighting up here. Uh, do you... Probably could throw some inset lights up there. Because I have no idea where the hell that thing is. I have, uh, I've lost my capacitor. Um, yeah. Come on. I have lit it up too well down here. Oh, wait a second. I just grab that. Thank you. Offhand. I have dynamic lighting, so. Wow, it's all the way over here. Out, thud. Uh, hammer, please. Thank you. Output power. You should be... Oh, you're full. <laughs> that didn't take long. I need to get power to here.
And then probably... That's why I have these things here, these uh, openings, so I can get power in there. I could always make another capacitor to go in there. But, all right, back to what I was doing here. So, brine, water. Oxygen actually is to the right. Okay, so... Hope that works. Downside is I gotta put water on the front of this, though. I'm not quite looking forward to. Upside is I don't have to have anything behind it, so... Um... Hmm. Actually, you know what? We'll do like this. The things I do whenever I can't be bothered making a painting machine, honestly. I just need some sort of water generator for that now, right? I'm going to put a capacitor here. I'm going to have one probably right here. There we go. Because, actually, let's go ahead and do that now. And... Yep. All right, so I've got some stuff to make here. All right, so we're back. I've got my capacitors made. And... All right, where's my... thing? There it is. So this thing should be filling up with power. It is. Very good. And... I'm going to toss another one right here. Input on the back, output on the front. And I hate how hammers can take damage from breaking blocks, especially torches. I realize that I may have mathed a little bit wrong. You can go there, though. Got to make an extra HP connector. We're going to toss you here. Let's break that now. And output, you'll be input, like so. Uh, we're going to pop you in here. Because eventually I would like to actually put a conduit facade on this or something. And you're going to do the thing. Kind of handy, except for when it's not. But we're filling up with water now. Not very fast, but it'll work for now. I could put a sink there, but sinks are incredibly broken. So I need a connector, huh? High voltage connector. One of these. Okay, let's check out my... Uh, Got a recycler going over here. It's been feeding it dirt and stuff. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like a scrap oxinator thing or not. And we're just going to pop you there. Now, how hazardous are you going to be? Very. Okay. Of that connector, say relay to there. Uh, 
Awesome. And you are making hydrogen and oxygen. Now, dump excess hydrogen for now, would you? You are full of oxygen, so you only hold 210. But, extract always active. Insert. You're going to start purifying. You're kind of sort of holding steady, honestly. Gold clumps are going to get crushed. That's going to make dirty gold dust, which is going to get enriched. Which is going to get pulverized. Or, you know, pulverized into... Smelted into ingots. So... And eventually I'm going to upgrade these with, you know, speed upgrades, everything like that, turn them into factories, but for right now, this will do the job. I've got automatic ore tripling set up. Now, how are you sitting? Uh, you are currently gaining power. That is a good sign. And it is, yeah, okay, it will keep up. Uh, I can do speed, energy... Muffling. Main thing I want to muffle is this damn energy smelter. Right. So let's go get some muffling upgrades. I think that requires steel, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does. Let's put that away. Probably don't need those right now either. Honestly. Done with most of that stuff. So, in you go. That's my ending. It's just hanging out in an enrichment chamber I forgot about. Alright. So, muffling. These things. Please and thank you. Times four. Times two. Alright. Um... Allergic Confuser. Make some more of that, would you? I she got like 50 cats. And hook up a way to uh, automatically declump hairballs. Yeah, I could get some decent stuff out of it. Oh, right, here we go. Good. We're good to go. There's our four, and I need another ender chest as well. Uh, let's see, ender chest is right here. What is... Oh, need one of those? Actually, those require... Yep. yep. Oh, well. It does make it a little more expensive, but I've got a decent amount of obsidian and whatnot. So first things first, <laughs> muffle, please. And then it's going to auto output out the top. Yep, already emptied. Awesome. We're good. The rest of the machines I don't mind so much. The electro electrolytic separator does it wears on you after a while, but not not horrible. So, 120. 360, 460, 560, 660. You're good up there. You're still filling up. And go check on our digital miner, see how it's doing. It's probably starting to get a little power hungry. Uh, yeah. It is, but 
Oh well, it can run slower. I don't care. Cut a backlog of ore to go through. Once I work through the backlog, then uh, then we'll be doing a little bit better. But you're completely empty. Dead fast bees. Yep, there we go. Cranky bees. Actually, let's go ahead and get the poison bees here, too. I've got 12 silk wisps. That's uh, not exactly ideal. I've got a total of 42. Now these things, you can make cobwebs out of them, string, or, you know, woven fabric or woven silk, but you need nine per silk. And then you use those to make the apiary suit. Or, you know, alpiary sieves, sieves. Or the, the better backpacks, which is probably pretty handy to have to. But yeah, we're looking at what? 13, 24. I got enough to make uh, four. So yeah. Bees are going to go for a while. Well, let's go ahead and pick up some scrap boxes. Hmm, grass block, that's not bad. You end up with a lot of wooden tools, by the way. Huh, it doesn't uh, show the... No, it does not show what you can get. Hmm. But yeah, so those are going to get dumped into like a burning generator, some flavor. I made a sterling generator, but requires a capacitor. So, yeah. Eh, it's got an egg though. It's not bad. Well, that was kind of cool. All right. So, got our electro electrolytic separator done. It's us some Sunday roast. That got me a feather. Next up here is the gas burning generator. It's a large amount of energy from hydrogen or ethylene. Now, the problem with how my wiring is all set up is it's a one-way trip into that room. So, if I'm going to burn uh, hydrogen for power... Then, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to move the hydrogen out or a uh, different way to move power out of that room. All right, so I need one of you. Use one of these. Oh, wow, I'm actually finally uh, out of the excess bricks I made. Let's just make a few of these. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Say four. Uh, yay. I need iron. And I need osmium, whatever the hell that is in the system. Um, yep, not up there. Oh, I'll go glass. I always forget I have that. Do, 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 do. And still going. There's IO stuff. There's Tinker stuff. There's mechanism. There we go. Let's make a bunch of those. Oh, I don't have to look so hard next time. Two of those. And polarized iron. Done. And that is tough alloy for nuclear craft. Okay, obviously. Gas burning generator. And I got a stack of bricks. Oh, yay. But the next thing over here is fusion reactor. Runs on DT fuel made from 
Deuterium and Tritium. See the wiki page first or, uh, setup guide because it's a little involved. But I'm going to need a lot of steel casings. Uh, reactor glass is just reactor frame plus, plus gra glass. Grass, yeah. Yeah, that's a little ways down the line. It's also way more power than I need right now, so. Quantum Entangler Porters. They require dragon hearts. Uh, Mechanism version of the old thermal expansion test rack, which I sorely miss. I wish that was a thing still, but it's not. I need four teleporter frames. I need... Oh, yep, this is the bugged out. I have to upgrade the mod pack. I'm still working actually on 172 because I haven't updated. This recipe here has been fixed. Um, yeah, Carpenter, I need four. I need two ultimate control circuits and one each of the regular boards. I wouldn't be a bad idea to automate that, honestly, because I need a lot of those boards. Advanced tier installers. Eh. Do I have any zirconium? Nope, I have none. Zirconium comes from Rock Crusher. Diorite. It says fluorite, terabyte, and zirconium. Yes, I know, cat. I know. You're cranky. We're, like, extremely talkative. But I think I'm probably going to have to call this an episode. Uh, not a whole lot of quests I can pop off with real quick. Uh, black hole storage, I do want to get into that, but that is not particularly cheap. Uh, the black hole units require black hole talismans from Batania, which require, hey, look, Gaia spirits and ender air bottles, so... You know, that is a thing. And I've really not done a whole lot of Batania. And the one flower I have made, no quest for it. Bit of a shame, but oh well. But yeah. I haven't really done much of anything with Thermal, so. But thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series, and until next time. Sign signing out. Have fun.